What's up, everybody? We're going to be going into iReady today. We'll be talking about organization and finally the two interventions you could use in your classrooms. Let's get started. Okay, to get started, when you go to monitor personal instruction, sometimes you have way too many people in there and it's hard to see which students are yours, which students are cohort C's, which students are cohort B, or whatever cohort that you're supposed to be seeing. So to fix that scenario, we're gonna go to the top and you're gonna press the I ready. It's gonna bring you back to the main page and from here, you're gonna head to rosters. Once you're at the rosters page, you're gonna come over here to actions and you're gonna go to add report group. It's gonna say create new report group or duplicate existing report group. We're gonna to go to create new. Okay, and for this one, I'm just gonna use my last name. Cohort A and the name of the content area. I'm gonna pick reading because you have to make one for reading and for math and you have to make one for cohort B, reading and math. So we're gonna go to reading. Okay, now we're gonna go to the next one where you enroll the students. And this is where I would choose the students that I wanna put. And we are good. Okay, once you're done, you're gonna go to save and continue. And then you're gonna enroll the teachers. Uh, to make my life a little bit easier, I'm just gonna add Ronnie also. Good, so it's the two of us and save and close. So it says it's been created successfully. I'm gonna create that one more time. I'm gonna go to actions at the top and go to add another report group. But this time, because I already created it, I'm gonna go to duplicate. And the one I'm gonna duplicate is cohort reading A. So I can make one for math. Same thing, last name, cohort, B dash, and this one is gonna be called math. And I'm gonna to touch on the math, and I'm gonna hit save and continue. Oop. Cohort A, save and continue. It's automatically gonna have those students from my cohort A from the reading. Now I'm gonna to go to save and continue, save and close, and I just created those two. So once you create those two, you can now go back to the iReady, and when you go to monitor personal instruction, Let's say it's Monday, I can go to cohort A and look at the students only that I'm supposed to be seeing on cohort A for Monday. I can go to math now, and if I click the top where it says all math students, I'm gonna come down to cohort A, and it's gonna show me all the students that are there for cohort A for that week and what they've done. I've created one already for B, so I would check this on Thursdays to see the students that what they've completed by Thursday. This way I don't mix myself up with cohort C students and I could just kind of keep everything in one place. Okay, so this pertains mainly to our grades three through eight. If you go up to the top where it says assess and teach, and instead of, um, you're gonna go to resources, instead of the teacher toolbox, you can go to this one over here, tools for scaffolding comprehension. And this mainly talks about comprehension in grades three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, all your testing grades right there, okay? When you click on it, it separates each one of these lessons directly in to a standard. So here's the standard code, here's the description of the standard, here's the topic and I ready, and here is the activity, okay? So here I have my teacher uh, lesson plan. Here I have my student activity. And when I click it, it gives me two stories. It says text A and the activity. Text B and the activity, okay? So it's basically like a I do, we do, but this is more of an intense kind of thing. So you, it should be we do all the way through, to be honest. Okay, if you scroll to the top, you're gonna see comprehension progression. You're gonna see guide for scaffolding comprehension. This is basically a long PDF explaining how to use this. If you don't know how to just read this PDF right here to figure out what you need to do, you could pick this and this could talk about that more if you think you need that. Over here, this is another PDF. This creates a skeleton and it talks about the topics that the students need to have as a priority, okay, first. 
So you wanna to touch on all these first before trying to tackle this guy over here. So this is just for third grade, okay? And the questions that should go along with it. So that's all your literacy. And on the second page is all the informational text. Okay, finally, our math intervention. So unlike the reading intervention, it touches on all the grades. So for this one, you would go to reports and you would make sure that class is selected, diagnostic is selected, and you're gonna go to this guy right here, math prerequisites, okay? It sticks at the grade level in which you are. It only regulates it to math. And because I made those two report groups, I could put cohort A or I could put cohort B, okay? For this one, I'm just gonna use cohort B. Um, and then if I press this topic, it selects one of the topics that are big on the state exam as well as just big power standards that they need to know for fifth grade in general. We're gonna go to uh, operations part one. So it pulls up all this stuff and what does this all this mean? This learning progression, it's the same exact skeleton that we saw before for ELA, okay? It tells them exactly what they were supposed to know for third grade, exactly what they need what you're labeled as fourth grade and what they need to know to get successful and become successful in fifth grade. Okay, so these are the topics they were supposed to get because of COVID slide and school closing every three seconds. And, you know, we were out of, knocked out from school for so long. Obviously these skills are pretty much missing or not as strong as they should be. And if you follow this, you will be able to strengthen their comprehension and computation in these respective places. Okay, we're gonna come back and X that. This is topic support. It basically breaks these down for you. All right, as you begin, yep, unfinished learning from the previous grade. No, no kidding. So we basically, if you read this through, it tells you the fifth grade topics that you need to cover, the fourth grade prerequisite skills you need to cover, and um, it builds from there, okay? Different ideas you wanna to touch on with them, okay? And instructional support that you need to give them for fourth grade to be successful in fifth, okay? Now, from your iReady diagnostic that the students took, it separates them basically by the students who have the skill completely, students that need a little bit of more help because they have some of the components, but not all, ones that are a little bit stronger than the ones that need the most, okay? So you could use a heterogeneous model to help them. You could use a homogeneous model to group them together, but basically, this is only my cohort B that I have this set up by. So these are the students that are in my class that I can provide that instruction for on those two days that I have them. Okay, so to review, you wanna start by organizing, by going to rosters. You wanna to go to actions and add those report groups. Make sure you create your report group for group A and group B and for reading and for math. So that should be four different report groups. Okay, that's really helpful when you wanna use, you wanna check their usage and you're not looking at the entire class and you won't get bogged down so much. Second, you wanna go to assess and teach to look at the tools for scaffolding comprehension. And this is very helpful, especially for those test taking grades. It, sign it signals and, and centers basically on those ideas that will be on the state exam. Finally, our third and final tip. Make sure you go to class and prerequisites. You choose the report group you want. You choose the idea and topic that you wanna to cover and make sure you use it wisely to group your kids accordingly. Now, to find more helpful information when it comes to providing resources for these kids, we're gonna talk about that in our next video, which could kind of help with creating some mastery and self-efficacy when it comes to covering these skills that these students need in-depth review of, whether they're with you or whether they're at home. We're gonna get into that in our next video. Cheers.